This Newport Beach Community Center is packed with parents who are here to learn how to keep their kids safe on the internet. Well, I have four children at home between the ages of four and ten, so this is becoming more and more an issue in my house. My 12-year-old has he's very verbal with me, and he's told me that he's actually experienced a few things on the computer that are inappropriate. And it's not just about what your kids might see. Every day, new technology is giving kids new ways to wind up in trouble. I often tell parents, you know, we're here today and we're not here necessarily because your kids might be a victim, but they also might be the perpetrators of crime, um, whether they're bullying somebody else or are they hacking into somebody's system or stealing music. So it's just education. Campus resource officers say it's common to find porn on the phones of high school students. Whether it was pornography taken off of the internet or oftentimes kids taking pictures of themselves, either sending them to a boyfriend or girlfriend. Safety expert Scott Burnett believes that the very reason kids today are more likely to experiment is because they feel safe. When kids are in their rooms or in their homes protected by their parents, they'll do all kinds of things. So you put an internet-enabled phone with a camera on it in the hands of a, you know, immature 13 or 14 year old with this technology, it's brand new, that's just going to happen. So what can parents do? Scott says the first step is communication around the dinner table, in the car, start talking to them about what they're doing online, what their friends are doing online. That's a very safe question uh, because it doesn't implicate them as doing anything wrong, but maybe they're a little bit more willing to say what they think their friends are doing online, which is what they're doing also. What about Facebook? With the right privacy settings, it's something that parents and teens can learn together at the right age. 13, 14, maybe even 15 for an immature kid, um, child. It, it's it's a good idea to get a Facebook yourself, friend your child, and then learn it together. You have um, a responsibility to teach your kid uh, safe um, social networking. What about downloading free music? Peer-to-peer -peer file sharing programs are bad news. They're full of viruses, um, full of pornography, um, scams, phishing, ways to get you know steal your passwords. So programs like LimeWire, Kazaa. Um, Napster. If you have those programs on your computer, whether it be a Mac or a PC, it's probably a good idea to get rid of them. There are also many paid and free software programs that allow you to set parental controls and filters, or even secretly monitor computers and cell phones. And Scott tells every parent, know your child's passwords. If something happens to your kids, you need to know their passwords. You need to know their email password, their computer password. You need to know their Facebook password or, you know, their Google or YouTube passwords. Every advance in technology brings new challenges for parents. Staying ahead now is key to being prepared for what's next. In Newport Beach, this is Valerie Starn reporting.